Hey everyone, I'm Stacy Ann Gooden and here's your storm update. Boy, it's packing a punch as it continues to push across the Midwest, even down to the south. The uh, Carolina is getting hit with rain and of course we are expected to get plenty of snow here in the Bronx. So taking a closer look, we have a winter weather advisory that's going to go into effect the early morning hours. Of course, the times can change and of course be sure to keep it tuned in tight to News 12 for all the latest details. That's all highlighted in purple. So that winter weather advisory will make traveling quite difficult. Snow beginning before dawn, steady snowfall through the afternoon on Saturday. And of course, this is why we have that winter weather advisory slippery roads for visibility. If you're traveling, it's going to be kind of tough getting it around three to five inches is expected out of all of this so just be careful as you make your way out and plan accordingly we'll time things out for you as you can see by our future cast at around three to about six a.m things will get cranking so the darker the shaded areas you can see the more snowfall we'll get if you're traveling across bedford park down into fordham morris heights if you're going to be traveling along the i-95 corridor especially if you're going to be taking it up further north into Connecticut or wherever you have to head to. It's going to be a pretty treacherous commute throughout your day on Saturday and it'll continue to get going. There could be some mixing that pink flicker that you see there. That's like sleet. And of course, but what much of what we're going to get is of course snow across our area. The lighter the shaded blues, the lighter the snow. So you get the idea. Things will start to wind down at around 6 p.m. or so. So between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. the storm should be wrapping up and getting out of here and then clear skies. So we'll have some breezy conditions thereafter and of course the clouds won't last long once we get in toward the start of the work week more unsettled conditions but milder temperatures speaking of which temperatures for this overnight not so pretty we're going to be below freezing guys it's going to feel much colder when you factor in the wind chills temperatures staying below that 32 degree mark again for your saturday watch out for icy spots that's going to be a major factor as we make our way through especially the overnight hours and even during the day because we'll stay below freezing Breezy conditions, winds out of the north, northeast, 10 to 17 miles per hour. Seven day forecast goes a little something like this. We clear out for your Sunday, plenty of sunshine as we top out at around 37. So whatever's on the ground will be melting during the day on Sunday, but will refreeze during the overnight hours. The good news is that those temperatures are going to climb right back up into the 50s and the 40s for the remainder of the seven day outlook. We have some rain to look forward to on Monday. We'll take it over the snow, but those overnight temperatures not as cold, certainly. And of course, we'll be here to keep you posted as this nasty weather develops. Hey there, I'm Stacy Ann Gooden and here's your winter storm update. Not looking so good behind me, I'm afraid. We have much of what we're going to get here across the borough will be in the form of snow, but we'll have some mixing. So hens will probably get a little bit less than folks further north of us. So let's take you through this. As you can see, pushing across the uh, Great Lakes, the Midwest, down and toward the Carolinas, we got plenty of action. Winter weather advisory in place until the early morning hours. Of course, the timing can also change. And of course, we'll be here to update you accordingly. And winter weather advisory means that, you know, traveling could be quite difficult. Here's what you have to look for forward to unfortunately snow begins before dawn getting steady through the afternoon and early morning hours could get pretty heavy as well slippery roads poor visibility traveling difficult hence that winter weather advisory three to five inches expected so here's a timeline what you can expect between the three o'clock hour you can and also the four o'clock hour you can expect this to get underway starting light so the lighter the colors the lighter the snowfall the heavier the purples of course the steadier the heavier the snowfall and as we go through the early morning hours look at that we have things kind of you know getting a little crazy out there green point seeing a lot of snow action right before the 7 a.m hour if you're heading further south into our not north and south conduits you'll get that lighter snow moving across the area just take your time if you can just stay inside if you have any plans save it for later in the day when all this stuff gets cleaned up off the roads further south at around the 7 a.m hour of course a lighter snowfall will get heavy as we make our way through the early morning hours and then we'll have that mixing so that mixing occurs looks like between the 10 a.m 11 a.m hour that's indicative of the pink shading that is sleet of 
course, and you may have some freezing rain depending on where you are as well. And then we'll have that changeover once again. So much of what we're going to get across our borough will be the denser, the heavier snow, the not so fun, light and fluffy snow that we like to play in. It's not going to be the case here across our borough. But between four and about six o'clock, things should really start to wind down and clear out. We'll be left with clouds and then eventually those clouds will give way to plenty of sunshine. Taking a look at the overnight temperatures, we're going to be below freezing. So you know what that means, some icing. And we'll stay below freezing throughout your Saturday. It's going to be brutally cold. And you factor in the wind chill, yeah, it's going to feel even colder than that. Breezy conditions throughout the day. It's bone chilling, guys, at least my um, definition of that. It's going to be quite cold. 10 to 17 miles per hour with winds out of the north northeast. So taking a look at the seven day forecast, as you can see, we clear out in time for Sunday. So whatever plans you don't get to enjoy on Saturday, you could save it for Saturday night. But you know what? Better yet, save it for Sunday. If you have the day off on Monday, enjoy it because we top out in the 50s. We may have some showers to contend with, but it won't be as bad as the snow that we're getting on Saturday, of course. And a little bit of a cool down by Tuesday into Wednesday and even through Friday during the day we will be into the 40s. Overnight temperatures not bad, especially early Tuesday morning, late Monday night. So, of course, for all the latest details concerning your weather, be sure to keep it tuned in tight to News 12 and News12.com.